Hello, my name is Cornelius and today welcome to another Cornelium tutorial. In this today's tutorial we're going to discuss how to model a Transformers like robot. Well, I'm a big fan of the Transformers movie and I have been searching and searching on how to create such kind of amazing robotics. But, you know, as I went on it, in my search, I found out that uh, they use different softwares, softwares that are quite expensive for us Blender users, but I tried to experiment and uh, I came up with some cool workflow, or let me say technique, on how to model some something similar. So in this training, or let me say tutorials, I will be showing you how, how I model, or how to model such robots. So remember, in this tutorial, it's not a step-by-step -step tutorial since, uh, since I try to save time. I don't want to have very long videos since they may be boring. So you can say that this is like a, an intermediate tutorial. It's not a beginner's tutorial. So if you do not know how to model or do not know anything about modeling, I suggest that you search over YouTube for basic modeling tutorials. I think, I think I'm not sure maybe somewhere from Blender Cookie but without further ado in this tutorial we're going to use one of my favorite tools and that is the shrink wrap modifier uh, the shrink wrap modifier is an amazing modifier that maps a mesh onto another I've been using it previously to create models for my models uh, so when you're creating a Transformers like robot as I will be doing these tutorials. I'll be having a, a Reference mesh perhaps of a human being and then I'll be creating another object and then apply a shrink wrap modifier to that object so that it maps directly to the To the character that I I want to make look to look robotic Yeah, and I'll also be doing some extra things. So Let's go So as you can see in our reference image, we have uh, we have very many parts, different parts, and probably you might be asking, so where where do we start? Huh? So in my workflow, in which I'll be teaching you in this video, is that uh, we start with the base mesh. The base mesh is like we just put a random primitive object, perhaps a cube, or you just edit a cube so that it looks something nearly similar to the to the object that we want to achieve over here. And then after that, we we add some more vertices and edit and edit the object. And then after that, we we add more details, like tiny, tiny little parts that can be seen in this robot. Um, so in this robot, uh, we have like uh, three layers. That's what, that's what I can say. We have the layer in which that uh, the tiny, tiny parts that uh, can be seen behind this metallic silver metallic object, and then. The like the second layer is actually this outer part, the somehow metallic part. And the third layer, you can see is that uh, tiny, tiny details like nuts and stuff. So we shall start with the very first layer, but here I'll be starting with the outer layer. After that, we'll be going to the second layer, which is found inside. And then on and on and on as the series continue. Have fun. So let's load our reference image directly into Blender so that we can see what we want to achieve without having to shift through windows. So let's do that. So what we're going to do first is the, um, we're going to add the object in which you want to make it metallic or let me say a part of the robot. 
then after we add the robot part we're going to add a plane in this case we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and then we're going to place this place it on the stomach and then what we're going to do to this plane is we're going to add a mirror modifier so that I don't do the work twice I'm going to do it for the first half and then then the which is so kind of good for me for the other part and then after that I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier now in this process it is very important that you enable you enable there's this thing that you enable to see the the effects of the shrink wrap modifier within edit mode uh, it's going to be very important since we're going to be like extruding along the body something like that I don't know how to say it better but we're going to be like extruding along the body which means that we, we need to see what is happening in edit mode so that button is very important it's actually like a, like the secret thing if you want to see what you're doing because this shrink wrap modifier it just like a, it does things unexpectedly you don't know where the fit will be so this this enabling will make it will make it better I mean you get to see what you're doing then after that let's allow a time lapse
so i hope you have enjoyed this part i'll be posting the next part i think in a day or two or three i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm just a student anyway so if you've enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe if you have comments questions put them in the comment box below if you have suggestions perhaps maybe a better way to do it a more efficient way i would really really appreciate if you tell me so so i'm counting on you guys and if you post anything i mean if you do anything cool with these tutorials i really beg you please send me an image or or an email or anything on your progress i really appreciate it so bye see you in the next tutorial